if you are afraid to trade and so you want to put one trade on and hold it and ride a big rally or a big drop, the bad news is the market doesn't work that way most days. So you got to be able to play it both ways. Stay tuned. I'm going to show you how we did exactly that today. All right, welcome back to Day Trade Like a Pro. It's Tuesday. We're looking here at the S&P 500. And here's what we were looking at coming into the morning. I want to just go back here a little bit and show you coming here into the morning in the Globex session. We traded up here to the tick. Uh, actually, one tick through here. We're looking at prediction points, of course. If you're not familiar with these, these blue lines are our proprietary algorithm. So we held in this area, we held within a tick right here. We had 13 half, we held here at 1375. We said as long as we could trade up above this area and we could hold up here, then we should see new highs. And so let's see how the day actually played out here was the morning opened. We said that 23 half in the live trade signals, we said, or sorry, 23 quarter would be a price we'd need to pay attention to that's right here and we ended up getting a really nice pullback from 23 quarter and that pulled back down here to 17 quarter so about six points on a pullback down there but of course you know the great opportunity was getting long down here or even at the open when it gave an opportunity to start moving up there and then it pulled back six points. There was an opportunity to get long. One of the price we gave in the live trade signals was 19 or 19 half. I think it was 19, yeah, 19. And then what ended up happening, we pulled right down here, that moved up. And we had this interesting 2875, which if we go back and we look at, see Friday's session, Monday, not much happened, but if you see Friday's session, this was 29, never closed above this on a five minute chart. And then we had this 28 half. So we knew there were some sellers that had been in the market in this area and they'd probably try it again up there. So we had this probe up here from 29, we probed 29.75. And then we did get a sell off from there. We said in the live trade signals that it would not be at all out of the question to pull back even down to this 13 half. So just a lot of great opportunity here. Conservatively, the long from 16 half up to 27, that's 10 points. A short from this 27 area back down to 16 half, there's another 10 points. And then kind of consolidated. And then we did get this push, by the way. Previous all-time high was right here at... 33.30 quarter and we did probe that. I don't have those prices on the chart. If you go back and look at this morning's chart, that's not it. You can see right here that we did give these prices. Let's load this on here. So what we're using right now is we're using the prices from prediction points right here. So we have 33.75 this looks like a lot's going on here. Let me make this so it doesn't look like so much is happening. What we have is we have 27, and then we have these dotted lines that just marks a point on each side. So we have 27, and then above that we have 32 half, which the market had never, ever traded this high. And then we have 33.75. So we used that 33.75 within three ticks, and then pulled back to 32 half to the tick, and then traded back up here again within one tick through here. And we're trading in between these right now. And then what I would anticipate is going to happen here is we'll roll over to tomorrow's prediction points and those will become more relevant. But essentially today we just ran out of time, so to speak, for moving off of this, moving up into all time highs. And so we did eventually get that. But throughout the day here, very great opportunities for both buying and selling, but obviously we were sticking on the buy side of things. And let's just look in here. One of the things that we said right here, 
that if we could, if we can hold above 13 half on a pullback should be for higher, otherwise back to the lower scenario. And that was what we talked about earlier. And then we said, of course, 27 will be important to get above for new highs. But all morning, what we were looking for here was all day, really, what we were looking for is as long as this would hold either 16 half or 13 half, kind of a worst case, we were looking for new highs. So what does that mean? It means we're buying into all the pullbacks and we, you know, we're picking a direction. We're looking for new highs. If it pulls back to 13 and my next target isn't up here until 32 half. I've got 20 points of room that I can get long and get 20 points on that move up. And if I know what I'm doing and I know how to do it right, we gave a couple of other prices. We gave 19 half, I think was the price, and we gave 23 quarter. We also had 21 in here. And you can see there were plenty of opportunities to pull back down into here off of 19 half and then move from 19 half all the way up here. That's another 10 points. So the really skilled traders, what they're doing is they're getting long right here. And let's say if you're a 10 contract trader, you're getting long 10 here and then you're taking seven off up here and you're getting another 10 on right here. So on this move from here, from 16 half up to 23, let's say getting six points, five points, six points on this trade on seven of your contracts, but you're holding the other three for this move up to here. So you're getting 10 points on three of them. And then you're long another 10 from down here at 19 half, and you're taking seven off up here. And so that's an eight point trade on seven contracts. And then you've also still got your three that you just got 10 points on from here. So there's just a lot of opportunity as you get more skilled and as you know what you're doing. But that's a little bit of a sneak peek into how some of the more advanced traders are trading this type of movement. And then, of course, writing it down the other way. So if you haven't tried prediction points, go to daytradelikeapro.com or you can click the link below and sign up for that. And we'll see you in the live trade signals tomorrow.